Dave, one very interesting thing throughout this trial is Susan Monica's appearance. The Susan Monica we see in court today is very different from the Susan Monica we met back in January of 2014 when she was first arrested. But one similar thing between the suspect then and the suspect now is her reaction when the subject of Robert Haney's death comes up. Wednesday, Susan Monica surprised people in court when she stood up, wanting to get away. I, I can't bear to watch what I'm just doing. On the screen, detectives questioned Monica on January 10th, 2014, the day of her arrest. Back then, Monica donned a different look. Michael Jones says that's the same Monica who walked through the door of Rhoda Paint in Medford when he was employed there. Now, like, I wondered if she ever took a bath or anything like that, because she was, she was always that way. But Jones was caught by surprise when he saw his old customer in court. I didn't recognize her at all. Though Monica's image on the screen is nothing like what it has been during her murder trial, there was one similarity. Monica looked like I'm going to take aim for anything. He was, he was laying there, I was standing here, and I went like that, I pulled the trigger. An outburst when the topic of conversation was the death of Robert Haney. In the video, Monica denies knowing anything at first, then a confession. She says she found Haney half eaten by her pigs in a pig pen on her property, heard him groan and saw him move his arm. The suspected murderer tells detectives she knew he wouldn't live more than a few minutes, so she shot him to put him out of his misery. I don't know for sure, but I'm kind of having my doubts. Uh, it seems strange that, that she wouldn't put out any kind of effort to save the man. When asked why she didn't call police, Monica spoke of her pig's well-being. Those animals were euthanized during the investigation. Today, the prosecution also got into the death of Stephen Delacino. We're about halfway through a taped recording where Monica says it was an accidental shooting during a struggle over firearms with the victim, during which Delacino was accidentally shot five times. Those firearms were presented in court today as evidence, two rifles and a small handgun. Covering your news live in Medford, Jessica Danova, News 10.